sound of a vehicle. There's a turn of the shoulder. As the group in the distance gets closer, the demons return. As the baby cries at night, the suffering this continues. With the final cry for help, the mental scars lengthen. One in 13 young people in England and Wales experience post-traumatic stress disorder by the age of 18. A study of more than 2,018 year olds found nearly a third had experienced trauma in childhood. And a quarter of these had developed PTSD, which caused insomnia, flashbacks, and feelings of isolation. Researchers say that with many young people not receiving the support they need, the study should be a wake-up call. As the hood's favorite, and someone who has been a victim of PTSD, I go out in search of those who suffer from the disease in economically blighted communities where it is deemed normal. My first destination is North London, Islington, where I meet up with a good friend of mine, an artist, AJ Vasco, who a few years ago was fatally stabbed. After such an event, it is important to find out his current state of mind and behaviour. PTSD and my hood. AJ Vasco, they tried to kill me. My first mental and behavioural changes probably came in like year nine, year ten when I got kicked out of school. From there, I wasn't the same. I got sent to college at a young age. The environment was different. And then for me, the biggest change of that happened when I got stabbed a few years ago. It, it, yeah, that one hit me still. That one, it hit me in a different way to when I got kicked out of school. You know what? I feel in some way blessed to have the opportunity to, to speak on what, I, what has happened to me. Do you get what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of people nowadays, they don't, they don't understand that people do survive and there's people to talk to about it. Do you get what I'm saying? So for me, it's, 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 a, it's a good, it's a blessing. It's a blessing for me, yeah. Um, for me, it started by writing, just writing my problems out on paper. I feel like that was a good way for me to talk to myself when I felt like it was hard to talk to other people. And also, you know, I went, I had a few counselling sessions. I spoke, I spoke to a few people, put me in the right places, and through that, it helped me because there was so much on my mind that I didn't know about, which you know what I'm saying has helped me to grow as a person so far. They've noticed a change, but in a good way. So I'm, I'm like a closed book, but I'm still readable. If that makes any sense. Um, yeah, man, I just had to grow up. They noticed that as soon as the little situation happened and I recovered, I realised it was time to go up. My battle with faith helped me big time, man, because I remember the day I got stabbed, I was praying in the car on the way to the hospital. Like, I was nervous, but since then I carried I carried on that same journey of the prayer of through the hospital, after the hospital. And it's like, now I can't forget what has happened. I have to keep, you know, saying that same faith, you know what I'm saying? I will just say, speak to someone that you trust. Speak to someone, write it down and just try and get help because there's not anyone with getting help, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't say it affected my ego because I feel like there comes a time where you need help. Everyone needs help at one point in their life. And for me, it was a thing of just bringing down my barrier and, and, and talking. Because I realised once I spoke, it was like a relief. Things was off my chest, things are out of my head. So I feel like for me, it was, it was quite good. No, it did, it did hurt my ego a little bit, but for me to bring that barrier down, was it was it was perfect. Out of those three, I would say I've been through flashbacks. Um, yeah, many a times, I think even the, the same night or the night after, I was in the hospital bed, man, had a crazy flashback. I was, you know what I'm saying? I felt like I was going through it again. Um, couple nightmares happened, but since then it hasn't happened much, you know? So I think through the faith, you know, of praying as well, that has helped me in that sense. Yeah, man, I can't lie, I never really had music on my mind, boy. I can't lie. Until I started writing, there was, yeah, there was, yeah, like, I never really thought about music. I can't lie, I loved, I loved mu listening to music, but before that, I found the only thing I wanted to do was play ball, boy. I can't lie. Mum was, bro, mum was having a good, the season, the, before I had a good season, the season just started, man scored like three goals. And then just mad. During that time, my boy got scouted for Palace. December, bro. Now my man's gone. So for me, I, I can't lie, I would have never done music. You know what I'm saying? I would have never, never thought of music in my life. I started to die out probably like a, a, a year later, maybe, because I think I got back into football. It happened in August. I got back into football about March. Season ends in May. 
So it was like I had two months to try and get myself fit again. It was like, it wasn't really working, boy. To get back to fitness is what killed me, I can't lie. Before that, I was fit. I can't lie. The maddest thing is, the doctors even said to me, man, if I didn't play football, I wouldn't have so much, like, I wouldn't have so much blood pumping through my body. Like, you know what I'm saying? They said, if I weren't healthy, probably would have been done out here, boy. So I feel like to get back to that full, after hearing that, to get back to the full fitness was a myth. It was a myth, so it was, that's where it kind of just faded out. Current goals is trying to release some new music, um, trying to inspire the youth, trying to inspire people around me, and just trying to you know build awareness about everything that's going on in the hood, because a lot of people get into it and they don't know what's going on. Bill, so yeah, important. man, that's what it is. AJ Vasco is just one example of someone who suffers from the disease. However, despite the battle with PTSD, has now been able to discover his newfound passion in music. Like they say, as one door closes, another opens. Select YB, the hood's favourite. PTSD in my hood.